the inside story of how Donald Trump really won Republican strategist Roger Stone. Um, let's get into the pre-dawn raid and all the people that we mentioned in the last segment that we know lied to Congress, it doesn't happen to them. Hillary got a pass by a guy that interviewed her that said she, he wanted her to win $100 million a zero. Um, what do you make that this only happens to you, Manafort, and Combe, but none of these other people that lie to Congress? And not saying that you did, by the way. Uh, no, Sean, it's extraordinary. Uh, Comey, Clapper, Brennan, McCabe and Hillary themselves all lied. And in their case, they lied about material, consequential things. To the extent that I made errors of memory in my four and a half hours of voluntary testimony, they're inconsequential. Uh, this is this indictment is thinner. You can watch CNN; they'll tell you it's a slam dunk. My attorneys don't think so. Uh, but I'm targeted here because they want to silence me. I mean, I'm 66 years old. I support the Second Amendment, but I don't own a firearm. I don't have a valid passport. I'm not a flight risk. The, the court gave me, essentially released me on bond on my signature, proving I'm not a flight risk. Uh, I can't swim, even though they had two amphibious units pulled up to the canal <laughs> behind my house. They completely surrounded my house you really with can't assault swim? weapons. Uh, I, I really can't. Wow. Uh, assault weapons pointed uh, at my at my uh, uh, you know at my at my chest. I opened the door, looking down the barrel of two assault weapons. Uh, I am uh, wearing a Roger Stone did nothing wrong T-shirt and a pair of gym shorts. I'm barefooted. They handcuffed me, walked me out the street. I'm concerned because my wife is hearing impaired. She's virtually deaf without her hearing aids. She hadn't awoken. I was afraid that they would think. She wasn't complying with an order and shoot her. Uh, uh, you know, and the idea that they had to do this because they were worried that I would tamper or destroy evidence is absurd. I've been under investigation for two years. Why would I wait till Thursday? By the way, I've, I've destroyed no evidence whatsoever. And I'm charged with nonviolent process crimes. Process. Here we go again. N no and conspiracy. That's the point here. N exactly. Um, but, it raises a lot of questions beyond the double standard, too. It raises questions about the tactics. But if we have a dual justice system in this country, say goodbye to the country. And I'm serious. This, this should be nonpartisan. That for something like this, if there's no Mueller investigation, there's no jeopardy at all for anybody. And then you have to think of what Judge Ellis said. Are they putting the screws to you so you'll sing or compose and say what they want so that you don't spend or risk spending the rest of your life in prison? Well, I think in a great, to a great deal, this is meant to silence me. I mean, my radio show at Infowars.com and our program is heavily censored. It's very hard for me to get the opportunity to defend myself. When I came out of the courthouse, I was being shouted down. I couldn't even make a statement. Uh, this is a, a, a not only effort to silence me, because I support Donald Trump, and I've been a critic of the Mueller investigation, and I think Donald Trump is making America great again. Uh, he's my friend of 40 years. I have great affection for him and his family. I, I, I'm not going to testify against him, because I possess no negative information. Uh, there is no Russian collusion. This is a witch hunt. Now, wait a minute. Wasn't think... everybody, after the, the first WikiLeaks dump, wasn't everybody trying to find out? Because WikiLeaks has a history of never being wrong, whether you like them or not. They've never been wrong. Um, and the fact, everybody was speculating. And with all due respect, in one of your emails that's even mentioned in the indictment, your speculation that whatever's coming next is about the Clinton Foundation, you were wrong which kind of proves that you were fishing and digging and trying to find out what might they have. Let's find out what they have. You did not steal anything. You did not conspire to steal anything. And the Pentagon Papers case, my reading of it is very clear. By the way, the New York Times published WikiLeaks, as did all these other publications, is that as long as you don't conspire to steal, you can print, you can go with stolen material of somebody else, correct? Yeah, yes, they're trying to criminalize legitimate political inquiry. They're trying to le le they're trying to criminalize free speech, which is really what this about. This is about. Look, I honestly believe that they are going to try to charge uh, the president and the vice president with some hoked up frame of Russian collusion. That way, they could make Nancy Pelosi president. She could make Hillary Clinton vice president, and then step aside. It's a nightmare. But I think that's what they have in mind. There is no Russian collusion. Uh, I had no collaboration 
cooperation with WikiLeaks. I'm not charged with conspiracy. Believe me, if they could have made that case, they would have. But they, they want to silence me because I will stand up for Donald Trump. That's now, what look, this is really about. You have been, you proudly say you, you operate in political dark arts, meaning you also purposely try to mess with people's heads. Is that a fair characterization? Well, John, in all your honesty, opponents. I, I got a tip, a legitimate tip, that told me that the WikiLeaks disclosures were significant and that they would come in October. I hyped that tip relentlessly to drive voter attention and media attention to the ultimate disclosures because I was told they were a bombshell. That doesn't mean I knew what was in them. That's called politics. It's legal. No, That's by the what way, I you do. were wrong on one of them. Your mention of Podesta, you were talking specifically about one Podesta, were you not? And no, they I was actually, with the I was Ukraine, talking, correct? No, I was talking about both Podesta brothers, because uh, on uh, July 31st, Peter Schweitzer wrote a devastating monograph called From Russia with Money about John and Tony making millions from the oligarchs around Putin in aluminum, in uranium, in gas, in banking. And then on the 14th of August, Breitbart published another story by, uh, by Schweitzer tying Tony Podesta to the same Ukrainian political party as, the, as Paul Manafort. So I said, the Podesta's time in the barrel would come. What I was saying was, I intended to get that information on a background basis to a number of reporters. Any other uh, narrative about what happened there uh, is false. And there was no controversy about my tweet for six weeks uh, until uh, it is alleged uh, that Stone was foreshadowing Podesta's emails being stolen. Let me be clear. I never knew the source or the content of any allegedly hacked or allegedly stolen emails. That is a lie. You know, Alan Dershowitz said it well, and I think this is evident in all of this 621 days. We're criminalizing political differences. We've got a dual justice system. That is a clear and present danger to this Democratic Republic. Uh, I'm sure it's not a fun time for you and your family. This shouldn't have happened in a lot of levels. Where's the collusion? There is none. None. All right, Roger, thank you. Um, all right, when we come back.